They are two of the biggest clubs in the world, both with enough trophies to fill a warehouse. They are Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. On Wednesday, the giants of European soccer will meet yet again in the Champions League semi-finals. We will need a big performance against a strong opponent, Madrid coach Zinedine Zidane said ahead of Wednesday's first leg in Munich. Bayern is a great club with great team spirit. It will be the seventh time they have played each other at this stage in the tournament's history, with Bayern winning four of those previous six. They have competed in the knockout stages of the Champions League 11 times, including three times in the last six seasons. Here's a look at some of their most memorable matchups, either at the semi-final stage or earlier, 2017 quarterfinals. Their most recent meeting went Madrid's way, thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portugal forwards scored both goals in Madrid's 2-1 win in Munich, and he then had a hat-trick in the return match to give the hosts a 6-3 aggregate victory. Two of Ronaldo's goals came in extra time in the second leg at Santiago Bermabu Stadium, keeping Madrid on track to winning its third title in four seasons. Bayern had players sent off in both matches, Javi Martinez in the first leg and Arturo Vidal in the second. The German team played the entire extra time in Madrid with 10 men. 2014 semi-final 7 with Pep Guardiola calling the shots for Bayern, Madrid eliminated the German team 5-0 on aggregate on its way to another title. Karim Benzema scored the winner in the 1-0 victory in Madrid. The Spanish team then won 4-0 in Munich to hand Bayern its worst European home defeat. Sergio Ramos and Ronaldo each scored twice for Madrid in the return match. 2012 semi-finals coached by Jeb Heineckes, who is now back in charge at the German club. Bayern got the best of Madrid on penalties after each side recorded a 2-1 home victory. An early goal by Franck Ribéry and a late winner by Mario Gomez put Bayern ahead in the series, but Madrid rebounded with two goals by Ronaldo in the first 15 minutes of the second leg before Arjen Robin pulled one back for Bayern before halftime. Neither team could score after regulation and Bayern eventually won the penalty shootout 3-1 as Ronaldo, Kaka and Ramos all missed their shots from the spot. 2007 Last 16 Bayern eliminated Madrid on away goals after a 4-4 aggregate draw. Madrid won 3-2 in the first leg at home, when Raul Gonzalez scored twice, but Bayern advanced with a 2-1 win in Munich after Roy McKay scored 10 seconds into the match for what remains the fastest ever Champions League goal. 2004 Last 16 Zinedine Zidane, the current Madrid coach, scored the decisive second leg goal that allowed the Spanish team to advance. Zidane beat goalkeeper Oliver Kahn with a shot from inside the area. The first leg in Munich ended in a 1-1 draw with goals by McKay in the 75th minute and Roberto Carlos in the 83rd. Other meetings the teams faced each other in three straight Champions Leagues between 2002-02, with the winner going on to win the title each time. Madrid won the 2000 semi-final series 3-2 on aggregate and advanced with the same score in the 2002 quarter-finals. Bayern won the 2001 semi-finals 3-1 on aggregate, and also got the best of Madrid in the group stage in 2000 with a 4-2 victory in Madrid and a 4-1 win in Munich. Bayern also won the team's first two matchups, in the semi-finals in 1976 and 1987. Madrid, however, won in the 1988 quarter-finals. Kylian Mbappe and Christian Pulisic are among the top 98 players born since 1998, according to Italian newspaper Gazzetta dello Sport. Check out the top 25. Juan Pimiento's caption revisit a busty weekend around the world of soccer, including Arsene Wenger's announcement, the FA Cup semi-finals, the Chicago Fire's first road win in the hot Serie A title race. Revisit a busty weekend around the world of soccer, including Arsene Wenger's announcement, the FA Cup semi-finals, the Chicago Fire's first road win in the hot Serie A title race. Caption relive the best of the week in the world of soccer, starting with Chivas defeating Toronto FC, Napoli cutting the gap on Juventus, Barcelona's controversial lineup and more. Relive the best of the week in the world of soccer, starting with Chivas defeating Toronto FC, Napoli cutting the gap on Juventus, Barcelona's controversial lineup and more. Caption Chicago Fire midfielder Diego Campos talks about his current role in Belko Panovic's squad, the loss to the Los Angeles Galaxy on April 14 and the upcoming matchup against the New York Red Bulls in Harrison, NJ. Saturday, April 21. Chicago Fire midfielder Diego Campos talks about his current role in Belko Panovic's squad, the loss to the Los Angeles Galaxy on April 14 and the upcoming matchup against the New York Red Bulls in Harrison, NJ. Saturday, April 21. 
Caption Relive the best of a highly newsworthy weekend in the world of soccer, including Manchester City winning the EPL title, Zlatan Ibrahimovic's visit to Chicago, and more. Relive the best of a highly newsworthy weekend in the world of soccer, including Manchester City winning the EPL title, Zlatan Ibrahimovic's visit to Chicago, and more. Caption Los Angeles Galaxy striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic shared his thoughts on the reception he got from the Chicago crowd and his assessment of his physical state after his first MLS start. Los Angeles Galaxy striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic shared his thoughts on the reception he got from the Chicago crowd and his assessment of his physical state after his first MLS start. Contact Juan Sebastian Pimiento at gmail.com at Pimiento